I made it out, had a horrible round of golf. Um, I, I should probably stop golfing. I'm just atrocious, but you know what? It's fun. It's nice to just get out and do something in the morning and uh, have some fun with it. And that's what's up. I'm gonna keep doing the the active stuff as much as I can whenever the sun's out and just trying to enjoy the day and just get outside and do shit, you know? Um, I really gotta step my golf game up though because like, I don't know how many balls I lost today, but it was bad. It was very bad. Um, probably the entire bag or more, maybe. Uh, but you know what? As long as you have fun, right? It's all that matters, just having fun. Also, my, uh, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but the whole thing, but my sample hoodie for my apparel brand that I'm launching showed up. So I'm rocking that uh, at the grocery store and uh, it, the sample didn't turn out as good as I hope, but it's fine because I'm switching to a different print service. So it's, it's all good. But at least I got the logo that I could show off and you know throw up people's faces and see what happens. Um, I don't expect to get rich or famous, but it's a fun little side project and you know come up with some creative shit, put my creative juices to use. Um, but yeah, um, I don't really know what else to say. I'm just running to Sobeys to grab some some shit. And uh, actually, one thing I will talk about while we're on the topic of food is uh, my buddy told me about something called a um, mukbang, which uh, I thought it sounded like a sex thing. And uh, it should be a sex thing if it's called mukbang. But apparently it's not a sex thing. It's a, a food thing that people do and uh, where people watch people eat a bunch of stuff, I guess. is I still didn't Google it, but he explained it to me today uh, on our way to golf and like how popular this thing is. And someone else actually um, via Instagram when I asked about like what I should, what kind of videos I should do, they mentioned this mukbang thing. And I was like, what the fuck is that? So anyway, apparently I need to uh, hop on the trends, but mukbang is definitely one of them. And I'm gonna look into this because I'm a guy that loves to eat and if I can just film myself eating for your pleasure, then hell yeah. And like, in terms of like, you know, making it like a challenge or like a food challenge or just seeing how uh, how far I can take it, I am definitely up for that for sure. Um, but I'm gonna run in and grab some stuff. I'm gonna whip up some, uh, some turkey, ground turkey nachos tonight. So that's how I fuck with that. But for right now, this is it. Uh, I'm gonna go for a bike ride later, so I will I will shoot more when we get there, but that's what's up right now. Mukbang. Hey, what up? So, I'm on my way to go biking again. Oh, fuck, I don't stop. You gotta get out and enjoy this weather. I know I've said that probably a couple times in these vlogs, but legit, you got to. I. You know what? I'm not letting this slow me down. I'm gonna get back on the bike and fucking hit another trail, get my daily exercise, feel good, you know, whatever. Gotta do it. Um, can't remember the last thing I talked about. Oh, mukbang. Yeah, I still have to uh, look into more of what mukbang is, but fucking, I'm doing it, whatever it is. I'll hop on the trend and do it. And uh, yeah, I can eat on camera. I mean, it fucking blows my mind that people just love to watch people eat. Like that's a real thing. Or like someone said I should film when I have a cheat meal. Like people just want to watch me eat the food that they can't eat. Which you know what, fuck it, hey. I'm down because I eat everything. I don't care. I do not eat well or well, I don't eat clean. Sometimes I eat clean, but for the most part, like my diet is really not that great. And uh, being 
The fact that I put fitness after my fucking Instagram handle is actually just hilarious. Because I'm not a fucking fitness guy. I'm probably the worst fitness example ever, really. Um, I mean, I work out and I've worked out for like ever. I have lots of experience, lots of knowledge in that department. I'm not an expert, but I know what I'm talking about. I know what works, what doesn't. And I've made like a pretty solid transformation, but like that took years for me to figure that out. And that's when I was like, oh, I'll just fucking make an Instagram, and put fitness at the end of my name and hop on the old bandwagon. What's popular? Cause I don't know, that's fucking all you see these days, but you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm not out here to, uh, you know, like my, my fucking Instagram is not about taking my shirt off and doing home workouts. Fuck that, that is everywhere. Um, I just want to talk about fitness related shit and hopefully people wanna watch it like this. I mean, this is barely even fitness related. Honestly, I kinda shot myself in the foot by putting the whole fitness tag on myself. Um, when really it's just me being me and there's a little bit of fucking fitness influence and shit mixed in. But you know what, whatever. It should be like Thomas Jordan lifestyle or Thomas Jordan wellness. I don't know, it's all pretty fucking stupid, but whatever, it, I, I'm stuck with it now. Um, I'm never gonna be a goddamn influencer. I'm never gonna be an online coach i had a buddy reach out to me uh yesterday and was like hey man like do you plan on making this like a career and i was like fuck no like if i quit my job to try and coach people through fitness i i mean i can't even i can't even picture that it just wouldn't happen um first of all i don't think anyone would listen to me uh but then again i look at some of the fucking personal trainers that make a living so hey if they can look like that and get clients then maybe there's a hope for me after all uh for fuck's sake i'm on a i got a phone call pause this hey well uh, i just finished my bike ride uh i can't fucking remember what i was saying before i was rudely interrupted by a phone call um but oh man this hair Damn, boy. Um, I was on a roll, too, but I can't remember what I was talking about. So, yeah. Something about my fitness bullshit, and I'm an idiot, and I suck. But, uh, yeah. Uh, just biked another, like, five clicks. Feeling good. Um, man, like, when this quarantine shit is over, it's going to be such a slap in the face to go back to uh, normal life or what even is normal life anymore? Maybe we don't even know. But the fact that I can't just wake up and go play golf and then go biking and whatever else, like that's gonna be kind of sad because I'm definitely enjoying it right now, enjoying the weather. Uh, oh my God, my hair. Um, yeah, as fucked up as things are, like you gotta make the most of it and uh, get out and enjoy life, you know? Um, I definitely am, and I don't know how much, like, cycling slash biking, I keep, I don't know what the fuck you want to call it, but I keep calling it biking, but I feel like that's not right. Anyway, the pro cyclers of the world are probably snubbing their nose, like the dudes who are fucking leotards, and anyway, um... Yeah, I don't know how like effective it is at fat burning in terms of like actually being lean and healthy and fit, but feels good and it's fun. Um, my legs are certainly going to be jacked. I already got pretty strong legs, but uh, I'm known to skip a leg day or two. But with biking, uh, it's not a problem anymore. Fuck it. I'm building these tree trunk legs so my wiener can look even smaller um yeah anyway five clicks in the books what a wicked way to finish the 
the afternoon, rolling into the evening. Um, I hope this weather sticks around because it is fantastic. Loving it. Well, oh man, I really, blah, 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 blah. I really wish I could remember what I was saying before I got cut off with the phone call earlier. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I don't know. This is the vlog number three, and it's pretty shitty so far, so... Wow. Can't wait to put this on YouTube and watch the uh, thumb down button get hit a couple times. You know what? It's fine. I can live with it. Like I said in my last vlog, the biggest important thing about this is not giving a fuck what people think, and uh, it can go a long way. That girl looked at me like I was going to run over her fucking child. You're on the other side of the road. Jesus Christ, some people. Anyway. Um, yeah. I'm going to keep doing this. I don't really know what I'm doing or what this is, but... This is vlogging with Thomas Jordan Fitness. Oh, uh, what an idiot. What an idiot. Um... What I would like to know is if you actually waste the time out of your day to watch this, feel free to drop a comment, uh, send me a message, or if you're old school as fuck, you can write me an email um, and let me know what you want to see on the channel. Um, I don't really think I'm going to take the Instagram thing like far because all anyone's looking for on there is like, oh, that's what I was talking about before, was like, you know, fucking home workouts, and I'm never gonna bring a camera to the gym and film myself working out. If I ever do that, you have permission to literally run up to me in the street and smack me in the fucking face. If I ever bring like, and I'm not, I'm okay, not in my phone. I'm allowed to, you know, if I snap a picture with my phone in the gym, because I'm feeling myself that day, let it slide. But if I fucking show up with like a studio light and like a GoPro or professional camera and a microphone or anything like that, just fucking hit me in the face, please. Because I don't ever want to be that fucking person. Um, and I'm, I'm making a pact right now to you guys. Okay, please just come over in the lane. I'm letting you in. You're welcome, Chevy Sonic. Um, anyway, I'm just promising that I'm never going to be that fucking person. So that is my promise to you. Um, yeah. So I don't know with the Instagram thing. It's more of just like, I don't know, just getting feedback and having a, kind of like an interactive platform to um, spread my shit. But... Most people probably don't care, and I only have like 200 and something followers, so I'm really not off to a great start. Um, YouTube, different story. YouTube is a fucking marathon, not a sprint. I've heard so many YouTubers say that, um, and I'm willing to like deal with that part. I only have 57 subscribers at the moment, and that's fine, because that's how you start, and most of them are probably family and friends. Uh, who probably don't even watch the stuff that I'm posting, which is fantastic. Thank you, guys. Um, but it still helps. And uh, one thing I've realized is that sometimes it's never the people that you, like, expect to support you when you do shit like this. Uh, it's been such a learning experience that way. Like, it's just... It's people that I wouldn't expect that, like fucking have been sharing my stuff on Facebook and like shouting me out and I'm like this is so bizarre it's not what I expected at all um, uh, but that's awesome and that's why when I like started the um, clothing thing I'm doing which I still haven't even put into full effect but like I kind of kept it on the down low I didn't want to advertise I didn't want to tie myself to it I was gonna try and launch it like separately um, and just pay for like advertising and stuff and then kind of like act like I didn't really have much to do with it and wear it. But then I was like, nah, that's fucking stupid. Um, but the thing is I'm not gonna try and make money off of my friends or family. Like 
that's not what it's about. It's just about starting a project that I have like had in my head forever uh, and just putting it into motion because why the fuck not? Like I have the means to do it. I have the creativity to do it. Um, and I'm just going to go full send on it and make it happen. So, um, but I didn't want to be like throwing it in people's face be like, Hey, buy my shit. Like, I, but I do want feedback from people. And even that's hard to get like just a fucking simple, like I put up those polls on Instagram and like, I don't know, 50 fucking people watch it. And then eight of you will actually answer the goddamn question. Why is that so fucking hard? Like, you're not going to hurt my feelings. If I post something and I'm asking like, hey, do you like this? And you just don't want to answer because you're afraid it's going to hurt my feelings. Stop it. Because you're not going to hurt my feelings. I've already made it clear that I have thick skin. And it's way better for you to be like, nah, I don't like it. And then I'll be like, oh shit, okay, well, perfect. I'll take this back to the drawing board and come out with something better. And also, if you don't fucking like it, give me some advice on how to make it better. What what would make this better? Or if it's just complete shit, then be like, hey dude, that's complete shit. And scrap it all together. Start from scratch, that's fine. I need that feedback. Uh, and I'm willing to like own that. I can deal with that. You're not gonna fucking break me. So anyway, that's a rant about, that I didn't even mean to get on. But honestly, answer the fucking polls when I ask you a question. Just kidding. Um, but yeah, I, what I'm saying is I don't want to like throw that in people's faces and be like, hey, buy my stuff, buy my stuff. Um, but like, if you do like it, then sure, wicked. Maybe you'll want to wear it. Um, but I just don't want to be throwing that in people's faces like I'm trying to sucker people into forking over their money to me for some fucking random business venture. It's not even a business venture. I'm not planning to get rich off this or make a fucking killing. Um, but it would be really satisfying to put this in motion and give people something that they want to wear that spreads that people are like, shit, yeah, I want to rock that. Um, that would just be awesome. That would feel good. It's not because I'm like, oh yeah, I can't wait to make a shit ton of cash off these suckers. Like, no, I just... If I make, fuck, if I made $5 a shirt, I'd be stoked. Uh, that's pretty good in my books. I don't know much about this industry. Um, even if I made $2 a shirt, that's pretty low, but like, I would still be happy if it was spreading and people were wearing it and they were happy with it and the word was getting around, you know what? Like, whatever, I'm good with that shit. Um, it's all good. I'm about to pull in my apartment here. This is vlog number three if you're Francais, um, but it's been fun. I did not mean to rant that much, but you know what? Maybe that's good. Maybe that's what you guys want to hear. So I appreciate it. Much love until next time slash tomorrow. Peace.